Okay, before we start, I want to show this beautiful picture that was missing from the previous art class. All right, now let's continue. Hello class, welcome to your art class. Today, I am going to give you the art class. How are you, Jay? Do you feeling all right? Do you feeling good? <laughs> Excellent class. All right. Uh, before we start with this class, let's um, let's make a little review, a little test. Let's see if you learned something from the plural and irregular nouns, right? Okay, what is the plural form of wolf? Write it down in the comments below. The first five students on doing uh, on writing down the answer are going to get an extra point. Go now that we finished that part. Let's make a little exercise so we can wake up, all right? We're going to start in, in our face. We're going to cover the face and we're going to start moving the fingers. And we're going to go down and down and down and down and down and down. Then we throw it away again. One more time. <laughs> we throw it away. Do it too. I want to see you doing it. Ready? Three, two, one. Perfect. All right, let's continue class. Okay, class, we're going to, today we're going to learn about some really interesting things. But first of all, we're going to learn about one artist. And this artist is Ambrogio Lorenzetti. Like that. Can you say it? Let me hear you. One, two, three. Ambrogio Lorenzetti. Beautiful. Okay, he was an Italian artist of the 13th century, really old. And he was part of the of the Sionese School of Painting, a movement that was really popular in Siena, Italy. Okay, this is in Italy. Between the 13th and 15th century, his painting, Allegory of Good Government, which is this one, is the first painting that has an hourglass in it. Okay, so let's take a look at that. What is that? Hmm. Is that an hourglass? That is an hourglass. This is an hourglass, and this is an hourglass, and this is an hourglass. Now let me ask you something. Have you ever seen an hourglass before? And what do you use to tell the time? Do you use a watch? What do you use for tell the time? Your cell phone? What do you think is inside? of an hourglass. Think about it. Hmm. Okay, for this material, what about this? Let's make uh, our own hourglass. What do you think? Yeah? All right, let's do it. Okay, class, the materials we're going to need are sheet of paper, glue, and let me tell you something. Inside of an hourglass, we have sand, okay? The hourglass is filled with sand, and when you flip it, the sand slowly goes from up to down, okay? But since we cannot have access to sand right now because we can really go outside, well, we are going to use sugar, okay? So, glue, sheet of paper, and sugar, and of course, a pencil. Why not? Okay, class. Here I have my sheet of paper, and we're going to start by drawing the hourglass. Here is my image of reference, so we can do it. But basically, we're going to make a number eight, right? That is the basic, the base. That's the number eight, right? And the next part is to do the structure, okay? The thing that goes on the sides. We're going to start here. And then we connect it. And let's make a little um, something nice here, like a ball. 
connected. There's a little bowl. And the other side. There. And now you can put your name here, right? Your sign signature. All right, class, so we have this, right? Now we are going to fill this hourglass with sugar. How we are going to do it? Well, we're going to apply glue and then we're going to drop a little bit of sugar so it a glue to the sheet of paper, right? But first we're going to decide the time let's let's see where are we going to paste the the sugar i'm going to paste it here and the sugar is going to be falling like here and it's going to have here okay check it out so here this is the sugar is going to be falling and it's going to be filling this part all right Okay, next step, we use our glue, just a little bit, a drape of glue here. Very careful, there. And you can use your finger or you can use a um, brush. I'm going to use my finger because it, this is more fun, right, if you use your finger. Remember to always have, if you are going to use your finger, to always have a napkin so you can clean and just like that. All right, now for the sugar, we are going to need, all right, so here I have my sugar and I'm going to take some and I'm going to put it here. Not a lot, just a little bit. This hourglass is going to work with sugar. Okay. There. And that's it. Now you can use your napkin again. So we open it and we can use it to put that the excess of sugar. Okay, class, and there you have it. An amazing hourglass, and you made it. Congratulations. Okay, class, I hope that you have learned something new. Remember, send a picture of this experiment to the correct email uh, if you are my student to Teacher Van. If you are a student of Teacher Isa, the Teacher Isa. All right, okay, class. Thank you for watching the video. Take care, be safe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.